Well, hey there, Chris. Hey there, Cole. Hey there, listeners. You are listening to Those Gosh Darn Ross Kids. Coming up next, we got Puddle of Mud, followed by Muse, and then the wacky, wacky prank phone call hour. Broom, Not. <laughs> A conversation between brothers featuring Chris and Cole Ross. I heard that pretty well, though. That's pretty gross. What, the belch? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Well. Yeah. I even turned off. <laughs> turned off access from the mic and just come behind it. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me while I murdered this dog. <laughs> that was really good. Do you have a soundboard? <laughs> yeah, I do. Honk, honk. That's a that's a that's a truck. That's eighty two. Yeah, can let let's start out high energy because I have okay. this thing that like I just it's too much for me. Too much for me. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, if we're if we're gonna get started, let's stay high energy right now. Let's keep this. Let's keep this blowing out the chamber. What uh, what episode is this, Chris? This is episode twenty seven of those damn Ross kids. Who are you? I am Chris, and I am Cole, and we are those damn Ross kids. For the 27th time, for the 27th week, we are here entertaining your asses. Uh, what have you got for me, Chris? I have Lost in Translation. Okay. Lost in Translation. I'm That's a, a big fan of I'm a big fan of marketing. I, I like to look at packages and 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 I like to buy things and then look at the bill and be like, why why did I buy all that? <laughs> it's because, how, it's, how did I get How did I get duped again? I bought Donald Trump steaks. I don't yeah, understand. No, 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 I just don't. I don't even know. I think Meatloaf and Gary Boosie, they sold them to me from The Apprentice. I have no idea. <laughs> I just wake up covered in them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, just, yeah, I don't know. I wear like them as clothes. Uh, yeah. But uh, I mean, so, so, you're, so you're susceptible to bright colors and shiny things like most of us. Uh, continue. I am. But the thing that I never really contemplated was how marketing and slogans do not translate. Okay. From one country to another, from one region to another. Oh, so like just do it in China means, you know, work harder. I, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Whereas the, the KFC uh, slogan, finger licking good in China translates to, Go fuck we'll yourself. eat your fingers off. <laughs> I'm just picturing the the great Colonel Sanders, his eyes turning red, and just a bunch of Cthulhu tentacles coming out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, we will all eat a, your all fingers a hunt off for your fingers. Chicken fingers, I get it. Oh my God, the plan is laid bare. What yep. else? What else? It's all out there now. <laughs> Apparently, uh, the U.S. beer maker Coors has a slogan called "Turn It Loose." I've never heard this. I, it's like "Taste the Rockies," but I guess they have a slogan called "Turn It Loose." Which in Spanish markets translates to suffer from diarrhea. <laughs> I get it. Loose stools, loose stools. I guess, uh, I guess that's, that's how that works out. M- most, uh, m- you know, m- most of what we consider diarrhea is, you know, is, is actually just loose stool. Diarrhea is one of the leading causes of death around the world. Have fun with that one. Definitely. Um, it's like yeah. turning on the faucet from the butthole. <laughs> the American Dairy Association decided that their campaign got milk was so successful they were going to take it to mexico unfortunately in mexico the spanish translation turns into are you lactating yes bountifully i am am, (laughs) in fact the room is slowly filling up as i cling to the ceiling fan Um, i am pumping every 30 every 30 minutes for 45 minutes that's how much i'm lactating uh, man i'm constantly pumping i'm just constantly pumping it what do, you, what do you think comes out after they run out of milk? Like blood? <laughs> I don't even know. Probably <laughs> mucus. Well, I mean, milk milk basically is just mucus. I is reached it, my is thing. I, is it really? Yeah, I mean, it's a nutrient-rich mucus. I definitely don't feel bad about blowing my nose into my hand and then licking it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win that particular game of chicken. Yeah, no doubt, yeah. right? Uh, so, so is... So is semen, actually. Semen's basically just mucus, too. Have fun. I, I can um, buy that. It's a dick sneeze. Um, continue. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Get me a towel. Pepsi. Pepsi, okay? We bring, we bring you back to life. Oh, In China, no. bring your ancestors back from the grave. <laughs> 
Oh man, the voice of 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 well the the old generation, I guess. Yeah, no doubt, right? Brains. Have you ever heard of Parker pens? Or like 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 Parker Brothers? No, they're like they're really good pens. Oh, okay. But their slogan is it won't leak in your pocket and oh, no. embarrass you. Oh no. This this involves leak, it can't be good. Translated into Spanish confuses Mexicans because it means it won't leak in your pocket and make you pregnant. <laughs> oh, embarrassada. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that's the Mexican word for like as it like, you know, everybody that that's like the one faux pas you always learn not to do. Like you you don't you don't say, Oh, I swim we and embarrassado, you know, it's uh it's you know, 'cause like it's like I'm soups pregnant. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely I'm I'm bumping. I am I am ready I'm to, baby bumping. I <laughs> I'm ready to burst like a pimple. It sounds wow. like something a rapper a rapper would do. I'm baby bumping. I'm baby bumping. Whoa, in the club. I have gonna, the fetish for the pregos. Gonna, gonna baby, shoot baby a bumping. person at my pussy right now. Where? Pussy um, <laughs> all of us, every human is pussy poop, okay? We are. Yeah. We are all, we are screw stars. We are all pussy poop. Yes. <laughs> we are, yep. we are we, all made of pussy poop. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm going to butcher this last one, but it, okay. it has to do with Coca-Cola and has to do with China. And it says that originally when they tried to take Coca-Cola and, and make some sort of pronunciation out of it, it, they did Kiku Kila, meaning bite the wax tadpole <laughs> or depending on the dialect, female horse stuffed with, with wax. <laughs> Have they been reading my dream journal? They definitely have been reading mine because the thing that they finally settled on was Koku Kole, translating into happiness in the mouth. And that was the answer. I like that. I like that. The correct we'll, answer was happiness in the mouth. We we will make your mouth smile. Yep. Yeah. See, yep. We, we, we rag on China and Japan and Korea for, you know, mangling. You know, like there there's the, uh, um, what is it, Chinglish? Japanglish or something like that. What? Japanglish or English? English is the one that's uh, when Japan does it. Like we rag on them, but just it just it it goes both ways, I suppose. Like, you want some pesky? I sorry, I'm the seeking English. <laughs> okay, let's back away from that before you start switching your L's and R's. Um, <clears throat> hey, Chris, I have a I have a question for you. You you, you you have a daughter, right? Yeah. Okay. What one that? <laughs> I'll go along with your premise for now. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, what would you do to like support her hobbies? You know, like to, to help... about, like smoking crack or latch hook. <laughs> ha- I say, I said, I said hobbies, not habits. Although I just about said hobbits, which you know could be either. Um, which but... is definitely smoking crack. But... <laughs> yeah, hobbits just 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 token up. Um, no, I'm I'm talking about like you know if she if she you know danced and you know just, you, know, you need you need to buy her a special pair of shoes. You know, like would you like how how far would you go to to help her excel at something she was passionate about? I don't know. I've done all that. Yeah, yeah. she's got she's had the dance shoes and the outfits and yeah. I got her a tennis racket and I don't know what else. Would uh would you have would you ever put her into a beauty pageant? No, if, I mean, I if she really, so. if she if she really wanted it, okay. So let's let's because no, I don't want her to like dead and raped in a basement. So probably not. <laughs> well, Chris, let's 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 just assume you did want that. Now, if you put her in that, in order to help her compete, would you inject her with Botox when she was say eight years old or so? Yeah, she got to look good. Yeah, she got to look good. It's competitive out there. It's hard yeah. out there for an eight year old. Yeah. For an eight year old girl. Well, that's what that's what I didn't one... drive. I did not drive four and a half hours to Paducah, to Kentucky, for her to compete to lose. <laughs> <Does> that <laughs> just to be seen as a scrub? Right? She's not. Yeah. Gonna... No. 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 Not at all. No. Not. She will not walk out in a little kid padded bathing suit in front of the hot topic at your mall without Botox in her face. God, that's what one mom in uh, San Francisco did. Uh, she did the injections uh, herself because she's a part-time anesthetist. Um, she was interviewed for a local television news station, uh, <laughs> and she started panicking when they asked where she got the Botox, saying she'd rather not reveal her, quote, trusted source, saying that he's behind the doctor scene and everything, unquote. <laughs> 
She's getting illegal Botox from some shady dude in an alley and injecting it into her daughter's face. Do you know what Botox is, Chris? I have no idea. No, I it's no, it's de- it's deadly poison. It's it's botulism. It's the most it's the most deadly poison known to man. Oh, I've heard that. Put, yeah, I've put heard in, that. No. Put into the put like, injected into the muscles of the face. She says her 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 daughter has wrinkles, and that you know all of the other kids are doing it, or their moms are doing it to them, and it's just a matter of staying above the curve. She says it's a tough world in the pageant world. The kids are harsh. Are the kids harsh? Really? Or is it is it is it uh, is it is it the kids the kids moms who are causing you to project this inadequacy onto your innocent little daughter? She's hardly innocent. <laughs> look at the expression that's been injected to into her face. <laughs> she, look at that. she has no choice but to look like a hussy. <laughs> look look at that dead glassy eyed expression and her immobile eyebrows. Somebody should steal her. Now, the interview is hilarious. I I should send you a link to it because, you know, the the Katie Couric wannabe interviewer is grilling her about it, saying, hey, don't you think that this is like innocence lost kind of thing? But, it, you know, she makes some good points. Like the, the mom is like talking to her and trying to ask ask the daughter, say, hey, tell them tell them why, the, why, why, why you do this. You know, the kid just got off of talking about how painful it is. And she says, I don't know. Then the mom practically elbows her and reminds her that it's because of the wrinkles. Uh, there are like horrifying pictures and video of it happening. And she's like crying in pain as it goes on. And the mom, it's just, it's just awful. A lot of weakness left the body that day. Yeah, I suppose. I hate that for you. Um, how else is she going to make the list? <laughs> which list? The list, man. Well, you know, they, like, and, and these are the same parents who are like, why are these sickos having sex with my kids? Why are these sickos, why are these sickos having sex with my kids? Uh, probably because you're, you're making them look like little sexy adults. Well, very true. And what are you going to call her on the list? Are you going to give her the nickname Fallen Angel? Oh, the, oh, the list. Are you going to give her is the this... nickname The Hangover? <laughs> Are, are you talking about Craigslist, mayhap? No, I'm talking about the list that a 17-year-old high school student in Chicago made. Oh, no. And distributed, where he ranked a list of 50 classmates in terms of their sexual, sexual desirability. Okay. He gave them nicknames on the list, like Fallen Angel, Blonde Bombshell, and The Hangover. Why The Hangover? Does she look like Heather Graham? or? And to have their body parts... And supposed level of promiscuity rated on a 10 point ranking system. <laughs> Body parts. So like she's, you know, she's, she's got, she's got rocking tits, but she will not put out for shit. So 10 and one or the kid was arrested. Wait, what? The kid who made the list was arrested. <laughs> for what? Well, they, they weren't quite sure. And as it turns out, it's not illegal. No, all the all the experts and judges and everybody weighed in after this kid was arrested. And it turns out that it's not that's not illegal. Like, that's not in any way. Illegal, I mean, like if 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 he if he was making a list and the header was people whose brains I'm going to splatter on the mural in the cafeteria. Yeah, that's that. That's one thing that is a that's a soups illegal list. But like who who wants to fight? Like, well, what was the ground? Like who who got him arrested? The school, they were just like, hey, he's got to get him out of here. It's not, I mean, it's not, it's free speech. Yeah, it's like, it's, like it's much it's free nothing speech. To do, like where they, you know. I'm surprised they didn't try and stick him with some kind of like child pornography charge or something like that, because that's, that's like what is happening now. Like kids are being charged with a child porn. Yeah. And which this actually translate or uh, transitions into another, it, cause it's another story that I have, but it's part of this debate that I want to have with you. Uh, that okay. I want to have with you. Okay. Okay. Debate time. Boom. boom. All right. Okay. You turn it over and you say that in New Mexico, authorities arrested a high school freshman for, for allegedly post posting nude pictures of his girlfriend on Facebook after she refused his sexual advances. This kid has it on lockdown. And let me tell you why. Okay. The 14-year-old suspect, which is the boy, and the 15-year-old victim, which is the girl in this case, are both students of a high school in Roswell, New Mexico. The boyfriend kept asking the girlfriend to send him a nude photograph of herself. She kept saying, no, 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 no. But finally, after enough pestering, she gave in in and sent him one. 
once he got it, the boy allegedly set this, the second part of his plan into motion where he was going to extort what he wanted from his high school sweetheart. He told her if she didn't have sex with him, he was going to post the picture on the internet. She refused, so he did. Rather than just post the photo where his friends could see it, he also created a whole new Facebook page just for the nude photograph. So when the when the chick found out about it, she told her parents, who turned it into police. Now this is the last part. The last part this is this is the, the the crossover. Okay. Okay. Officials did not file any charges related to child pornography on the boy because they didn't want to victimize the victim again. Because if they would have charged the boy they would have also in turn had to have charged the girl because she took the picture of herself. Yeah. So (laughs) how do you want it girls? Wait, wait wait a minute. What? How do you want it girls? Yeah. How do you want it girls? You guys, you, you, do you want to be equal? You want to, you want equal pay? You, You know, you want equal rights. You want to vote. (laughs) <laughs> like like voting matters. How do you want it? <laughs> I, I, what what in the fuck does this have to do with equal rights? Because if a, a girl if, if it was in reverse, yeah, no big deal. If a girl would have ranked guys, no big deal. It wouldn't have even mattered. Okay, nobody nobody probably would have even like made a big nobody would have called the police nobody would have made a big deal of it it would have just been like oh yeah she's messed up in the head not let's call the cops nobody's saying there's not a double standard but i think that i I think that where people's opinions are going to differ is which side of the double standard is more unfair there is a big gulp size double standard yeah this this, this, there's like a there's like a soups great divide i mean i'm saying soups too much tonight i'm sorry I'm like Campbell's up in here. We're dropping soups all over the place. Um, ow, ow, my foot. <laughs> cream of cream, cream, cream of sexism. Um, but uh, <laughs> oh my god, dude. What? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's tough. I mean, it's you know, on on one hand, I think that the, I think that the issues be the the issue is really murky because because like I don't. I, <laughs> If anybody is guilty of anything, it's the it's the guy for putting him up because that's blackmail. It she is, and that's something. The picture. She took the picture. That little slut took the him. picture. <laughs> okay, she she took the picture and shared it with him. Right now, I agree. She was stupid because everything that you do is permanent now. Like if <laughs> if if you don't immediately after taking that picture, bury your cell phone. In, in you know in, in the middle of a desert and shoot the dirt where it lies and set the forest on fire that surrounds the desert you know the the the, the ring of forest that surrounds the circular desert this in my uh tortured metaphor here if you don't do that immediately it's going to be sent out yeah that's fucking that's that that's that's stupid but there's this idea that you know that's what kids do is they 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 send pictures the the technology complicates things so it's nuts i knew i knew when i filmed my penis it was gonna end up on the internet my my urethra singing as dick Gotti. (laughs) chris 30 years a high-pitched voice blues singer (laughs) i knew when i posted those videos that was forever. But yeah, I mean, just there, there, there's no such thing as privacy, and there's no such thing as you know temporariness. There's no such thing as like a transient thing happening. Like you know, thirty years ago, if that if that same girl would have you know that they would have snuck behind the uh, the dugout you know at the at the at the baseball field next to you know at the high school across the street, and you know if she would have showed him his t- you know her, her tits in the you know, field or whatever, he would have immediately you know immediately gone and drawn a picture and told all of his friends about it, whatever. But, you know, the fact is that now that is more permanent. The the consequences are. You, you know, or they, they stick around longer and they're more true to life. I just and, find it hard to believe that she is the victim in this. I, I, I don't know. I think, I think that she's, I think that she's dumb because, you know, she should have recognized that, but, uh, it's just, it, if, if I'm going to side with who's, you know, more evil, I, I would, I would have to say the, I would have to say that the guy is more in the wrong because he's the person who shared it. Even even though that was something that was that was shown to him in good faith that he wouldn't go and you know show it to everybody else, she she didn't act out of malice. He did. 
And if we're and if we're going to grade on intention, which so in let's case, let's let's you so see. You're going to assume that the woman did not have an ulterior motive. What ulterior motive would she have other than like I think this guy likes me, so I'm going to do this? No, she knew how this was going to turn out. How? She just wanted attention. <laughs> we all. I want attention. Why do you think I do this fucking podcast? That's not a know. crime. Yeah. I put stuff up, you know, I, I say things on here that could be used against me in court all the time. Just 10 minutes ago, I said I wanted to fuck kids. But, you know, it's it's a it's a difficult it's a difficult line. We all want attention. And that is that, that that's what kids do. They're fucking stupid. I don't know. This I happens she... that the guy was more fucking stupid. I don't know. Turns out she was just a seven on the list. <laughs> Seven's pretty good. I'd shoot for seven anytime. As as a confirmed two, I would shoot for a seven. I would shoot on seven. As a confirmed <laughs> as a confirmed two, I would shoot on Cole seven. Cole would shoot on a seven. <laughs> God, man. What's happening? There's just there, there there's there, there, there's nothing we can have faith in. I know I talk a lot about the end of the world, Chris. I hope you I hope you're gonna talk about what I have too. I hope so. Yeah. Well I yeah, mean take take this story off off my off my one note. I'll take I'll take it out of I'll take it out of your one note and you know, put it on my little text edit here. Uh, so I mean we we we've explored this topic a lot in the past, probably too much. You know, but none of us really knows when it's gonna end or how, fire or ice, anything like that. But if you believe what Jim Grork of San Diego says, we have as of right now, recording at 4.59 on Saturday, May the 14th, um, we have less than one week to go. Actually, just one week. Now, Grork and those who share his beliefs um, have purchased billboards across the nation saying that Jesus will return on May 21st, bringing along a great earthquake and ushering in the apocalypse. Now, May 21st, is the chosen date because it's exactly 7,000 years after the Great Flood. If that's the case, why it is an earthquake instead of a flood, I have no idea. Now, Grork, he says, God makes known his beliefs. What he uh, makes known to his believers what he's going to do. He doesn't spring it on them as a surprise. I mean, he gave Noah a seven-day warning. Now, myself, as a confirmed secular humanist, you know, I, I, I tend to I, I tend to be skeptical in these things. Even I know that Revelations 3, 3 says, you know, I will come like a thief in the night and you will not know what time I will come to you. I will sink my teeth in the bite. <laughs> that, that, you that, think that, in life? That's Jesus. I'm that's... thinking more like what's up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now, when asked what he will do if he wakes up on May 22nd, he says he can't even conceive of the possibility. He says, quote, it's like death and taxes. It's going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We are we're like we're, we're we're doomed. We have one week left. Chris, max out your credit cards. Go Which, out there. The story that I have is about a guy named Robert Fitzpatrick. Okay. He's a six, 60 year old Staten Island resident who spent his entire $140,000 life savings on advertising, proclaiming the end of the world on May 21st. Wait, where do these people come from? He bought a thousand subway car placards and ads on bus kiosks. Uh, the ads say, Global earthquake, colon, the greatest ever, exclamation point. Globe quake. <laughs> Judgment <laughs> day. May 21st, 2011. Judgment quake. Judgment quake. Judge quake. <laughs> One from 2.30 to 3 in the afternoon on, that, the, on the UPN. Yeah, it's the Judge Dredd spinoff. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he says, hey, man. Are you on the quake? Okay. Judgment day is going to surprise people. We won't be ready for it. Giant earthquake is going to render the earth uninhabitable. <laughs> if you'd like to, set your alarm clock. Quake's going to happen at 6 p.m. local time. 6 p.m. Okay, I was going to ask you if you had pinned down when exactly it was going to happen. Yeah, God's people will, will be resurrected. It is also the day that God stops saving anyone. <laughs> Ooh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Deadline's coming up quick. You better file your repentance. As to whether Mr. Fitzpatrick is going to be saved, he says there's just a little doubt. Most churches teach that it, you know, that if you just believe, you'll be saved. 
It's not our choice. <laughs> it's God's choice. This is truth. At least he's consistent with his beliefs. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Till the night closes in. Till the night closes in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> where did these shit for brains come from? I, I just, I hadn't heard anything from these guys. I like forget like the guy who, who, who is uh, fostering this move and I forget his name. He's done this before. Like he, he, he's always, he's always proclaiming the end of the world. I think he wrote a book that was entitled 1994 mm-hmm. with, with, with a question mark at the end, positing that the world will end in 1994. Um, yeah, I just I, I didn't hear about them until early, earlier this year, but now they're like out in force. Like there's a like there's a billboard truck driving around in Cincinnati with this shit happening. I uh, hey, I mean, if it happens, it happens. If not, you know, you know, it was a good ride. Great. I I had, you know I I had fun. You know this 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 you know if that is the case, then this is the last episode of TDRK. You know, all of. Holla, holla back at your podcast, boys. We're coming at you live from H E A V N. <laughs> that was seamless. <laughs> no, Do you think there are podcasts in heaven? Because I really hope so. Yeah, probably. Probably. You know, I, I would. I would just because I, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Yeah. You know, I. <laughs> it's funny, Chris, because I, I write things down on index cards throughout the entire week. And, you know, they're just they're just miscellaneous thoughts that I keep around and, you know, hopefully someday they'll go into something or whatever. But <laughs> this relates to something I, I I wrote down. I I think I could really be down with polytheism. Really? Yeah. I th- you, you know, monotheism, it doesn't make any sense because it describes some kind of responsibility on one omnipresent being. But I kind of like how the Norse do it. Which you is want, you just want to believe in the in the in the employment deity? We pray for income and benefits. Um, <laughs> no, no, I just I like the idea that there you know there are multiple divine aspects that you know if you try to ascribe them to one sentient and omnipresent, omnipotent, you know, and questionably benevolent being, there are an awful lot of contradictions that come up. But if you know if if every injustice in the world was caused by conflict by by two warring deities with with uh, with with opposite intentions then yeah i can i can understand that otherwise god is impotent schizophrenic indecisive uh powerless and all of those things and i i can't i can't get behind that but if you know if you if you you know have the trickster god loki and the goddess of destruction shiva getting up there in the mix with you know all of the all of the good the good folk the, your 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 odins and your ganeshas you know that's that's something i can i can get behind I, you know, I, I, I either believe in no God or I believe in an infinite number of gods or that I'm <laughs> my own God. Wow. Hmm. You know what? You, you know, you know what faith is? What is faith? It's sort of like spot the fake. Oh, yes. Okay. So, so, so hit me with uh, what this is. You are going to spot the fake. I am. Spot the fake porn title. Oh, no. Yep. I'm going should, to give you three. Should we tell our children listeners to uh, to turn off? Yeah, probably. Okay. If you, if you, I told mom not to listen. If you are if you are five years old or less, do not listen to this. If you're six years or older, you'll 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 know eventually. Yes. Yeah. That's our cutoff. Set number one. Okay. Let's play anal twister. <laughs> Okay. Summer Blumpkin happened so fast. <laughs> Can you clarify what a Blumpkin is? Low job is... on a toilet. Okay. Okay. While shitting, that's important. Otherwise, it's otherwise it's worshiping at the throne. Um, go ahead. And the third, bumping donuts. Um, nobody outside of sixth grade or podcasts says the word blumpkin so i'm gonna say summer blumpkin <laughs> happens so fast blumpkin that, that one's a fake that is correct okay cool all right number two granny slam <laughs> jerk your cum crayon and color me white <laughs> okay hello titty oh cum crayon definitely granny slam 
Oh, see, okay. Granny Slam is the fake. Well, <laughs> I I kind I kind of want to know. Oh god, these like the, I love the belabored porn title. Like just the, the one that's like way too long. It's like I have no mouth, but I must scream. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's an actual right. short story. It's really good. Um, so it's one 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 one. All right. Shrimp and lobster sauce. Shrimp. In Sh- shrimp and lobster sauce. Oh God, oh, that, that sounds fucking vile. Is what it sounds. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay. Deep inside your husband. <laughs> um, part, I I cannot reconcile shrimp and lobster sauce with my reality or what anybody would find sexy. Um, so I'm going to say, um, that shrimp and lobster sauce. That is incorrect. Oh my God. Deep inside your husband is fake. Oh man. See the, the fake ones are mundane. You're, tr- you're tripping me up. I made that up. I just, that, that just sounds like something I'd see. It's like the, I mean, isn't that the ultimate like culmination of, you know, cuckolding fantasies? It's like, I want to see somebody fuck my wife, but actually I'd like them to fuck me. That's where I got the idea. Cause there was a title called deep. Uh, there's a black penis inside my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God, yeah. There's a wasp in my hair. So, so, so <laughs> um, hey, yeah, can, which can, also could be a porn title. Can, can <laughs> Can you uh, illuminate what shrimp and lobster sauce is, or is just Urban Dictionary that that that'll be the assignment for the week? Oh no, shrimping, <laughs> shrimping some of that lobster sauce. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go hang myself in the shower now. Um, <laughs> go ahead. I'm just gonna go put on a nighty and hang myself myself in the shower. Yeah, I'm gonna Let's, do that. Okay, okay, so, so it's two one me, two one you. All right, number four. ATM machines. Ass to mouth machines. Okay. Exploding asses. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the sci fi original. Um, go ahead. Interview with an enema. <laughs> uh, Chris, you, you, you have pulled the rug out from my reality. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say ATM machines. No, that is real. Oh, no, I can't win now, can I? Exploding asses is fake. <laughs> Interview with an enema is real. Is, is that is that straight or gay? Interview with an enema? Yeah. No, it's straight. Okay. Cause, I mean, because I know that any time you see anal sex presented in pornography... You know they they they've always, they've always you know they, they 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 clean they clean up the house before they let the guests in you know mm-hmm. and yeah. uh, I've yeah. I've never I mean I n- I've never quite wrapped my head around what you know of of why the cleaning out would be sexualized over the dinner party but oh well but there's some I mean there's some where you have to go to the salad bar before you do it <laughs> the but, salad bar <laughs> fuck then, you okay let me try and save some face all right so it's all right. so it's three one. You're not going to win. I can't you're win, dead. but I can. You're dead in, dead in the water. But I can minimize my losses. You could, but you're probably not going to. Ah, damn it. 30 days in the hole. <laughs> Is that Shawshank Redemption themed pornography? Mm, the Shawshank Redemption? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Dirt pipe milkshakes. Think about that. Oh, God. <laughs> I just don't... <laughs> Think about that. Oh, man. Sex starved, smelly Latinas. <laughs> this is taking it out of me, Chris. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna leave the studio and I'm gonna have a shock of white hair. Okay, <laughs> stinky Latinas. Thirty days in the hole. That might be the most racist thing I've ever heard. Actually, um, thirty, 30 days in the hole. 30, thirty days in the hole. Second one is dirt pipe milkshakes. Sex starved, smelly Latinas. Again, I cannot reconcile the 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 dirt pipe milk milkshake with with anything that fits into my reality. Maybe yours, I don't know. Apparently, it does. But I'm going to say the the dirt pipe milkshake. That is real. 
Are you fucking kidding me? No, that is real. You... <laughs> that is real. The uh, <laughs> the sex star of smelly Latinas, while they may exist in reality, <laughs> the movie has not yet been made. Chris, I can't decide if I'm angry or sad. Oh, man. Did you see that? Did, did I, did, did, did yeah. I see what? They were having a two-for-one on the dirt pipe milkshakes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> when you first said that I was trying to take a sip of my beverage, but I promptly let it dribble back out. I couldn't even come up with the uh, with the energy to spit. That's so why I need, win. I think I need to take a take a long shower. Think about my life for a second. <laughs> I done I fell off. Can. That was well. Now that we've traveled to those depths, Chris, can I can I can I can I take us to the can I take us to the science zone? Yeah, why not? Just put a blanket on it. <laughs> I'm going to take us to the science zone, Chris. I'm going to talk about um, one of the many extremes of planet Earth, okay? Now, I don't, I don't know how funny this is going to be. I just want to be informative with this because this, on, on one hand, fascinates me, but it also terrifies me, and I want to know, I, I want to get your feelings on it, okay? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. Scare now, me some more. Okay. This, this, this scares the shit out of me. All right. So the Mariana Trench is located in the Western Pacific Ocean, south of Japan and north of Papua New Guinea. Um, it is accepted to be the deepest part of the world's oceans. Now, its lowest point is known as the Challenger Deep, named after the ship that discovered it in the 1870s. Um, it is 36,000 feet below sea level is the lowest known depth of this thing. That's deep. That is that is really deep. Do you want to know how deep it is, Chris? I uh, probably it's, like I don't know. It's a mile deeper than Mount Everest is tall. Okay, it's two thousand like seven miles. <clears throat> yeah, it's super deep. It is two thousand feet deeper than the cruising altitude of a commercial airliner. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like really, really deep. Now, only three descents have been made into its depths, and only one of those has been manned. Now, the conditions down there are so hostile. Only one of those has has returned without a T-shirt. <laughs> and killer gift shop. Yeah. yeah. The, they don't do a lot of business, but they have some really neat snorkels. They're about, yep. you know, eight miles long. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the conditions there are so hostile. That the majority of creatures are soft-shelled, simple, microscopic worms. It's literally all that can survive there. And the largest, most complex animal found on the floor of the Challenger Deep is the Polycheta, a 10-inch long, bioluminescent, multi-armed worm creature. Now, the pressure is so high that calcium carbonate is actually soluble making it impossible for anything with a hard shell or skeleton to live there. Now, since the Earth is not a perfect sphere, it's not the closest uh, part of the ocean floor to the Earth's core. That can actually be found at the poles because the Earth kind of you know, bulges out at the sides. And this is pretty near the equator. But that's, that, that's like, that's, am, I, am I alone in finding that fascinating? If you say, yes, I'm going to crucify you. Like, like then, I, then I will say nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> what else is down there? What's hiding? Chris, we've only mapped 10% of the ocean floor. Okay. We don't know what else is down there. How deep it goes. Well, there well, are I, there are horrible things that God has saw had that God saw fit to not bless with the light of day. These are awful creatures which just it defies it it defies everything that my concept of earth like relies on. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat, right? That stuff, yeah. I mean, that, that stuff can live down there. The, the, like those pressures would c- compact you to the size of a dime, and yet life prevails. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Which ironically is the only coin that, that a vending machine down there accepts. <laughs> can I tell you something else, Chris? You can, you can, you can, get, your, you can get your shell, your soft shell waxed. For only one human dime. God. Hey, can, can I tell you something else, Chris? I'd love to hear it. Hollywood director James Cameron plans to make a descent into the Challenger Deep in a submarine of his own design. Of course he does, <laughs> an asshole. <laughs> From this vessel, he plans to shoot 3D footage, which will be incorporated into Avatar 2. I'm sure he does. <laughs> He's going to have himself reduced to the size of a pill. He's going to hold a camera inside of it and then swallow it into his own body. 
That's how amazing James Cameron that, is. That's how he's going to die. That's how he prefer to die. Yeah, exactly. Right? Come uh-huh. on. Come on, Jimmy. I'm going to feel really bad if he does die down there, but that that is something that he intends to do. Jake Cam, what an <laughs> asshole. Jake Cam. So I just wanted I, I to tell like you that story. I, 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 don't, I don't care for him either, so. He's not my, uh, not my guy. Not my kith and kin, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's from the Christmas story. Uh, no, that's an actual saying. I know, but I heard it on Christmas story. I, I pulled it from an Ockerville River song. Um, oh, really? Do you have any stories for me? Yeah, I mean, you, you, there's a lot of animals that can be lurking in the ultra deep. <clears throat> yeah, and there's a lot know. of really cool animals that are Cthulhu you know, and just kind of <laughs> hanging out, you know, here on the surface on terra firma. Yeah. Oh, no, I got you. Yeah. Nice, mm-hmm. nice little jab there. Huh? Just because I know more words than you doesn't make me not not worse than you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't do that. It just makes you an asshole. Yeah. I fully admit to this. Authorities at Bangkok's International Airport have arrested a 36-year-old UAE citizen whose suitcases were filled with baby leopards, <laughs> panthers, a bear, and two monkeys. The animals were drugged and headed for Dubai. Oh, God. When authorities opened the suitcases, the animals yawned cutely. <laughs> no. Oh, oh man, we've been tranked. We're sleepy. That is, that's awful. There were two leopards, two panthers, an Asiatic black bear, and two monkeys. All were the size of puppies. Are these fucking fetuses? Authorities said. Listen, authorities said that it looked like they had been sedated. They had them in flat cages so they couldn't move around. Some of the animals were placed in canisters with air holes. It was a very sophisticated smuggling operation. They've never seen one like this before. The dude had a virtual zoo in his suitcase. It's the world's saddest zoo. Yeah. Well, what what purpose did did, did he did he so, cop to why he did that awful thing? So cute. Because they he sells them. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I I I don't even know why I asked that. There was no other answer besides for money. What's he gonna so. do with them? God. I just wanted them. Like, yeah, I, just, I, just, I, just, I needed, I needed two panthers so, and two leopards. So the obvious question is, where did he get them? Because, like, it's you know, he was in uh, Taiwan. That's where he got them. You can get anything there. Oh yeah, you can get Taiwan. You know, you yeah, can, you, you can get, get a seven-year-old little girl dressed as an Asiatic black bear, <laughs> banging two monkeys while a panther and a leopard watch. And uh, it, well, quote unquote, girl, Thai lady boy. That's a, that's another thing. Well, um, it, yeah, but it's not my job to check the undercarriage in the dark. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm a big fan of plug and play. I'm gonna have if to, I can plug it, I'll play it. I'm gonna have to edit most of this out. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> of that shit you just said right there. Um, what? <laughs> if I I'm plug, a big I fan can of play. Plug and play. Yeah, that like the, that's that's not staying. <laughs> That's not going to stay in. I'm sorry. Why not? Um, I'm clearly. I'm not. I I know. Serious. I know. Uh, but I'm Who serious. Who would think that I'm, I'm serious? I'm seriously not going to oh, edit that out. And I'm going to. You know, <laughs> think I love about middle school girls. What kind of is, drunk asshole at a golf course do you have to be? <laughs> Chris, you know, I mean, there's there's something to be said for a bunch of cute, sleepy animals in a in a in a suitcase. But I can tell you, can I tell you about other? cute sleepy things that you know people don't want to be cute or sleepy sure christina you know what lazy cakes are no no clue now lazy cakes are a quote tasty chocolate treat that brings on the ultimate state of relaxation now the company's website the manufacturer's lazy cakes says this the magic of lazy cakes is that they're the original relaxation brownie They have a proprietary blend that includes herbal relaxation aids, melatonin, valerian root extract, rose hips extract, and passion flower. Now, the mayor of a small Colorado town wants them banned because a single brownie contains 8 milligrams of melatonin over 266 (laughs) times the recommended dose. (laughs) Sleepy Cakes. Well, hey, Sleepy Cakes, are you sleepy? We'll put you in the car seat. Hey, Sleepy Cakes. Wakes up seven years later with a beard. Yeah. 
Um, authorities say that sleep aid shouldn't be laced into brownies because kids are affected. The mayor of the town says even though the product says it's not intended for children's use, it's psychedelic packaging and it's cartoon character. And this lazy Larry <laughs> indicates otherwise. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> That's great. I want like a million of these. No doubt. I haven't slept in four years. So you're telling me I'm allowed to read the magic school bus, I, but I can't eat a tasty cake or a sleepy cake. I can't do that. I can, I can, I can What's the, dream about an acid trip where I ride some sort of yellow school bus inside people <laughs> as a child. I'm allowed to do that. I'm allowed to do that. I'm Chris, allowed to expand my mind. Chris, nothing is, nothing is more dangerous than the imagination. Do you know what the imagination is responsible for? Mm, no. The Holocaust. We have to stop the imagination, Chris. We have to make sure that every little kid watches as much TV as possible. All right? What, we, need, what? We, need, we need to stop the imagination, Chris. I mean, if we, if we let these kids eat these, eat these lazy cakes, they're going to sleep and they're going to dream up the way that the world is going to end. I mean, it's not going to matter too much because, you know, May 21st is coming up anyway. It's sneaking up on us like a thief in the night. But, you know, we can't have these kids dreaming. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that the... Imagination <laughs> caused the Holocaust. <laughs> okay, but but it's uh, Dude, that's some that's some real Glenn Beck shit right there. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, you, right? You could do him. I I so could because he's very homosexual <laughs> and so no, am I. I am super gay. I am super. I am super gay for Lazy Larry. Uh, but <laughs> you are so open I, to that. I like the idea of a cartoon brownie. <laughs> The, the 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 logo it just I mean it just looks like you know looks like something you would find in a head shop or something. I you know it's like he's sleepy and contented. He's got like this you know thousand yard stare as he looks off and is just completely detached from the world. I'm just surprised. I mean, if I were to, no, wait, 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 wait. he does like the like the like the he the brownie is animated in this, in the fashion of like the bill from the Schoolhouse Rock exactly. And he's like droopy eyed walking, and then he does like the Dick Van Dyke walk behind the couch where he's going down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes out on the other side in Sleepy Town. Oh, no, and then he and then he comes out in like this sunburst ray laying on a flower, <laughs> <laughs> and it just spins like at this very top angle. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got God rays. Yeah, yeah. And, and then the petals fly off, and he's naked and a baby. He's a naked baby brownie fetus. Which yeah. is my prog, you know, the name of my prog rock concept album. No, if I were designing that logo, I would, I would have, I would have had him be a cannibal. I mean, he's he's so lazy and sleepy and happy because he's eating, he's eating another brownie. Do you know what that brownie? Do you know what the brownie he's eating is? Eating, Chris. Caramel lecter. Another brownie. You say caramel lecter. <laughs> God. Uh, we've been recording for almost an hour. Can I can I fit in another another story, Chris? Yeah. Okay. Because you're going to cut out some of my fucking ridiculousness. <laughs> no, I'm going to leave it all in. Um, <laughs> Which I'm not sure how I feel slighted. But either way, I feel slighted. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not doing your do, I'm not doing due do, do diligence. <laughs> the horrible shit that Chris says that I have to cut out every week. We record for five hours every week. And most of it is propaganda that I have to cut out. Most of it is definitely incriminating. I, I mean, I'm not... I, <laughs> like super incriminating i burn the actual files i take them out and i and i bury them in the desert and i shoot them and then i burn the forest that surrounds the desert but um chris can i talk to you about amateur dentistry of course <laughs> i always have time for amateur dentistry now i had some stuff going i'm gonna cancel it can you hang on okay all, all right. right okay <clears throat> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Cancel. <laughs> now, a, Virg a Virginia couple has been arrested for running a dentist's office out of their home without a license. Although I don't know why I say without a license because it's pretty obvious that that's a redundancy. <laughs> um, the dentist's I don't office. No, Margo. <laughs> that, that was apropos of nothing. Now, the dentist's office featured a full service examination room and reception. A receptionist desk, a waiting room, and a functioning dentist chair. I want to know where I can get a dentist chair. Actually, I get you one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like how 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 long will it take you? I don't know. Maybe a couple of weeks. I'll tell you. Uh, aside from the podcast, yeah. 
I just yeah. for some reason like the like the the water that comes out of the little jet gun that they have, you know, that also blasts the air. Uh, yeah. There, you know, for 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 some reason, that's like the tastiest water in the world, probably compared to that shit they, you know, circular saw, like like angle grind with your teeth with that that like an awful. Like they used to give me a choice of flavors uh, in the in the tooth cleaning for that. I always picked bubble gum, but now they've got like it's, it, it all just tastes like it, it, it just ass. Do you know why? Why? Because you're an adult. <laughs> 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 I just I just had to. I had to <laughs> They, they don't. They're not trying to get you to like them. What? All right. They're not. Is, is that they, why? They, they, yeah. They're not trying to molest you and say, <laughs> "Would you like a, a bubble gum lollipop or a green is, lollipop?" Is, is that why I don't get suckers when I get shots anymore? That. Where are you going for your shots? Is is that? <laughs> I get like a bunch of, I get more suckers now that I'm an adult. I get, I get more. They're like, I, yeah, I get, you're, I get you're much bigger. You need more suckers. <laughs> I, you know, I go to the bank and I, you know, I send a check through the little tube and, and then I just say, you, you know, like I hit the call button. I say, Hey, when you send me back my receipt, can you just, can you just laden that thing with suckers? Like the, suck, can you, the suckers can you with, you the, with the loop bog stick in down it. that just air bog. system. I want it to be. I want you to like. Don't even bother with the capsule. Just put the basket in and let the let, let all the suckers be sucked up into it. Like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like like a cartoon Indian arrow. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now these uh, these amateur these amateur dentists were busted. By an investigation headed by the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office Gang Intelligence Unit, or Lixogi, uh, <laughs> because the couple apparently catered to the, the Latino community. Um, it's pretty rockin' dentist here you have here. Goes 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 all the way back. Goes all the way up. Hey, is wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that a bumper pool table? I don't even know. <laughs> Home dentistry is awesome. It's it's it, it it frightens me. Like, do you know about dental torture? Yeah, I've been there. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just like like dentistry. You know, I I get why they exist. You know, and just, you know, like, like a lot of disease happens in the mouth or because of the mouth. But um, <laughs> it's just like. All you do is 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 scrape at my mouth with hooks and look for holes. Like that's that's it. And and then you irradiate my head. And what's the deal with the smell? I don't know. I don't even know either. I don't even know. I don't know if this is gonna make it in or not. But um, in in Kenya, they're teaching grandmas how to kickbox. <laughs> And and that's hilarious what, on the, what, on the surface, but the what, reason what, did, what does this do have to do with dentistry? I have to ask huh? you. What does this have to do with dentistry? We're still because on with my one story. kick, I can knock all your fucking teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> this has been those damn Roskets. <sighs> that is definitely not gonna make. Oh yeah, that is that, that paints you in a negative light. You will definitely edit that out. <laughs> oh, like like oh, it's like so that that is that will never see the light of day, like ever. You said it. Oh. <laughs> I, I know for shock value. No, it's okay though. What? Because we have a mutual rapist friend, and he's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. We're done here. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! That got dark. So, so somebody, so like somebody, somebody walking by on the street is hearing this shit, and and they're forming very ill opinions of me. Nah, nah. Okay, well, what can our listeners do? <laughs> Wash your ears up. <laughs> yeah, the hydro- <laughs> hydrogen peroxide is definitely Just a thing. It bubbles. It, feel, it, feel, it feels weird. It, it, it kind of sounds like popcorn popping when you pour it down your ear hole. Um. <laughs> You can go to those damn com if you haven't been there already. Check out our uh, ch- check out you know old episodes of the show. I-, I feel like they age really well. You can start at episode one and listen up. If this is your first one, if you stuck around from the beginning, well, God bless you. I, I wouldn't have. Um, I agree. If you if you've been around from the start, you're you're. We need to hang out because <laughs> you guys are. You're uh well, well you're, you you might have you might have some some methods to deal with messed up that uh <laughs> I don't have. Yeah, I mean there's there's the um, I was pretty good at it. Yeah, but 
yeah. chances are you, uh, you you have visited the website. And if you haven't, go there. Like Cole yeah. said, yeah. pop on, on over to the Facebook and uh, type in those damn Ross kids and you will see the uh, fan page there. Yeah. You can like that. Mm-hmm. Thank God there's no dislikes that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that it's ratio. Coming. Oh, yeah. That's... I'm sure Mark Fuckerberg's going to add that. But... Yeah. Um, you can also, if we're going to be talking about Web 2.0 stuff, you can go to iTunes. That is the primary distribution channel for this uh, for this audio program. Uh, there you can subscribe to us and leave us a review, you know, bump our average rating up. Um, you can also, I mean, if you have any, it's been a while since I've mentioned the, 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 the email address on the show. If you have any um, questions or comments or, you know, if you want to talk about the quality of the show or just reach out and say, hey, thanks for doing it. Uh, you can uh, you can you know email us at those damn Ross kids at duckfeed.tv. Wait wait a minute, what's that? What's duckfeed.tv? You ask. I have no idea. This is new to me. Is it? I did not think this up. You you didn't think? <laughs> Actually, yes, you. T- <laughs> Duckfeed is <laughs> the uh, the the congl- <laughs> the conglomerated brand uh, production company, if you will. That uh, I just registered for today. Um, it's a it's it's a URL. It's a way of being. It's a life. Duckfeed.tv is where you can go to find all the updates about the new shows, and uh, it should be up or at least have a placeholder page and email addresses uh, by the time that this episode drops. I think I just want to reiterate what a uh, iTunes comment or a name on iTunes that commented on the site. Uh, by Don Glass. Don okay. Glass? Yeah, Don Glass. Dong Lass. <laughs> Dong. Let's go with Dong Lass. Yeah, I, I love the Dong Lass porn. Good. Dong subscribe, Lass, to, subscribe to this show and feel better about your stupid life, jerk. <laughs> I, th- I don't think we could have summed it up any better. Nope, that's it. Yeah. We could have just turned the last three minutes into uh, that. So, yeah, just, there we go. Yeah, just, no, that stuff's just. Do it, jerk. Just do it, you dummy. Your stupid life. <laughs> Make it better. Get better at life. Good night. Good night.